What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and after a little wait, we now have our 4.3.3 untethered jailbreak thanks to the dev team and Ionic. It does work with the iPhone 4, 3GS, iPod Touch 4th and 3rd gens, and the original iPad. It's both for Mac and Windows, and if you guys have a tethered jailbreak on 4.3.3, just go through the same steps and you will be untethered. If you're clean or just restored, never jailbroken before, all you need to do is follow my steps and you guys will be jailbroken and untethered on 4.3.3. Okay, so on your desktop you guys will need two things. Red Snow 0.9.6 RC15 and your official 4.3.3 firmware. All links can be found in the description where a link to my site will take you to an in-depth guide and all the links you need there. Okay, so make sure your iPhone is plugged in and right click on Red Snow and run as administrator yes and now we're gonna browse for our 4.3.3 official firmware I am tethered on 4.3.3 so just to let you know here it's asking us if we have new or old boot ROM and I'm gonna click yes because I have a new one next it'll patch the kernel for just a second and on this screen all we're gonna do is click install Cydia alright so then I'm gonna click next and we're going to power off our device right now. Okay, so once it's off, okay, so click next and hold the power button for 3, 2, 1, together with the home button for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three two one let go of the power button and keep holding the home button red snow will recognize your device in just a second and it will begin jailbreaking okay so your screen should flash right about now there we go and yeah so it's beginning the jailbreak process once it's done I'll be right back okay once the jailbreak is complete go ahead and slide to unlock and on your springboard you will now see Cydia if you didn't have it already open it up and it will take a few seconds for it to load and set up but you guys are now jailbroken and untethered on 4.3.3 firmware if you guys encountered any kind of problems during the jailbreak process you want to read the guide down below as it will give you many error fixes otherwise if you're looking to unlock on 4.3.3 you can now do that if you have the compatible baseband as it's been updated to support the new firmware so thanks for watching this video guys. As usual, please comment, rate, and subscribe and enjoy the jailbreak.